to the final chapter from AP Stats, Chapter 12. Again, this topic is not covered on the AP 2020 modified exam, so I will just go through this very quickly. Piggies are awesome. Timer and instructions. Don't forget to read through it first. Here come the questions. Information given scatter plot. Question A. Question B. And question C. And the solutions. And here we go. So, a random sample of 14 golfers was selected from the 147 players on the Ladies Professional Golf Association, the LPGA Tour, in the recent year. The total amount of money won during the year in dollars and the scoring average for each player in the sample was recorded. Lower scoring averages are better in golf. That's good to know. I didn't, I kind of knew that. I don't know. The scatter plot below displays the relationship between money and scoring average for these players. Cool. So let's jump into question A. Explain why it would not be appropriate to construct a confidence interval for the slope of the least squares regression line relating money to scoring average. Well, to answer that question, I need the original scatter plot. There's the answer, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. It doesn't meet conditions because look at this. That is not a linear line. So how the heck are you going to deal with slope of a line if you're not dealing with a line, you're dealing with a curve. So that's the main reason it's not appropriate to use this. And we know that because the whole point of this chapter was what do we do with not appropriate scatter plots? Well, we convert them. So let's go to question B. The scatter plot of the natural logarithm of money versus scoring average is shown. So what did they do? They took the natural log of the money. Okay, so this is a concept. We transformed the information and look what happened. It became a linear line. So they gave us a mini tab info and they want us to predict the amount of money won for an LPGA golfer with a scoring average of 70. So in order to plug in this 70, we need our Y hat formula. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So I've pulled up the answer so you can read along as you pull the information. So our Y hat formula, we first have to break up. What is our Y hat equal to? Well, they gave it to us, it's the LN of the money. So there's my new formula, but I am of course gonna write it here just to give me some information. What is my A value? Well, that's the Y intercept and that's occurring at um, right here, my constant coefficient. 77.547, and then we've got our slope value occurring right here, the scoring average coefficient. So again, if you're struggling with just reading mini tabs, I posted links about the mini tab before. You can also Google it. Um, the hardest thing is just remembering which parts are provided in which spots. That's I think that's the hardest part about this. Negative uh, 0.90470, and then X, and that would be our formula. Now we plug that in. You plug in 70 here and they've done that for us. You get a value of 14.208. But that's not quite the answer they're looking for. I thought, what do they want? What it would be the amount of money won. 14.208 is not the amount of money. That's the amount of natural log of money. So you got to finish that solve. So if you know um, that the basically the natural log of so I'm not even going to start there. Just take E to 14.208 and you get your value. You can go back to pre-cal or algebra two and dealing with logs, exponents, and how to go back and forth from there. But um, that's really what it is, is that you're dealing with that natural log or log conversion. If we hadn't used natural log, if we had used log, then this would be the number 10. It's that simple. Last question, calculate and interpret a 95% confidence interval for the slope uh, of the least squares regression line relating the natural log of money to scoring average. Assume that conditions for inference have been met. So here's our plan step, conditions for inference have already been met. So this is a state plan do conclude. So I'm going to pull up that whole thing in one giant set. State, we want to estimate the slope of B of the population regression line relating the natural log Y to the, natu to the natural logarithm of money earned to X earned for X is equal to scoring average of the 95% confidence interval. Woo, it's a long phrase. Most of it is a stem sentence. Some of it comes from the given information. Plan, we were told conditions were met. So name that interval. We use a T interval for the slope to estimate B. That's always, you're always going to use a T interval for those um, shifted log or, or transformed questions. That's what I meant to say. 
For our due statement, our degrees of freedom changes just a little bit. It's N minus two for these types of questions. Um, and then we found a T critical value using either the textbook tables, uh, given information in the formula charts or using an online program. We plug that in to our plus or minus, right? We take our error, negative 0 0.9047 plus or minus the t value, the critical value, times the, sorry, we take our statistic, negative 0 0.90470, plus or minus the critical value times the error. We have all that information from the mini tab. I think I have to go back. Yeah. We have all that information given to us from the mini tab. Here is the zero, negative 0 0.90470, which is the sample statistic, and here is our error. Our standard error of that scoring average, my x-axis, right? The standard error of my scoring average, and here's that information. So that's where I got my two numbers from. Plugged it in, and now I have an interval. We are 95% confident that the interval from blah to blah captures the slope of the population regression line, relating the natural log of money to score average, not relating money to scoring average. We couldn't do that, could we? We proved that in question A. All right, and so I got for you. Here's the con. You can practice anything you want on this page, or you can practice older stuff. I don't care. Get through it. Do what you got to do. The assignment. Ta -da. That's all I got for you. Real quick video. Bye.